Hello and welcome to my first vlog. I'm super nervous. This is definitely just going to be kind of like a practice one and just for me to get into the habit of actually filming some stuff and I thought what better way to do that than just to take you to the gym and show you my current training. 2023 was a year of a lot of traveling, a lot of ups and downs in terms of training. I feel like I'm really at a weird point with my calisthenics at the moment. It's like I've regressed quite a lot in a few skills. You've probably seen that if you follow me on Instagram. I'm just trying to get back into a good routine this year, get my basics back up and get some skills back. So I'm actually following a new program at the moment. So let's have a look what we've got for today. So I know today is a push day. So one of my first things is, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, oh, no, you can't see that. Okay, <clears throat> I got a handstand challenge to start with, which is where I'm working on a supinated handstand and then transferring to a regular handstand and then to try and come down do a negative into a tuck punch so that's like a little combo I'm working on at the moment and the main part of the workout is just working on my current push goals which is my tuck planche, my planche press and my handstand push up so I've got a few different combos I've got some strength work and some conditioning so obviously I will show you that I'm not sure if I'll take this camera into the gym because I'm not that confident yet um, but maybe that will just be clips on my phone so yeah I hope you enjoy this I'm gonna try and do once a week now this is my goal once a week to get a video out on YouTube um, people always ask like what my training looks like so I think this is probably the best way to do it let's get ready so I'm gonna rave it and wear some shorts today and <laughs> these are so nice Barbie vibes so yeah I'm gonna wear shorts but I'm also gonna put the joggers back on that I've just had on while I've been working this morning um, hopefully the gym is not freezing cold and sometimes it's talking on the camera in the gym and I actually didn't even bring my camera this is just on my phone because yeah I'm not confident enough to be filming on my camera in the gym I think it just like annoys everybody so I'm just going to be popping my phone up so I'll apologize in advance for the quality of the next few clips because the lighting in my gym is really really bad let's go and see what this training session is going to look like Okay, so as you've seen there, I usually start on the treadmill and I'll do like five or ten minutes just depending on how cold the gym is before I start my actual warm-up which includes a lot of dynamic stretching and then I do always start with some handstand balance work on the floor and on the parallettes and then once I feel ready, um, then we get straight into the workout. So as I said, the first thing today is this transition challenge that I'm doing. So it's the supinated handstand on the one parallel going over to the other one and then trying to come down into the tuck um, planche. So what I try and do, if I'm working on a combination, even if I fail, I try and get back up and finish off the combination. Otherwise, you're only ever doing the first few moves in there. So I think I got it on this one. It was a little bit shaky, few hand movements, but I did the whole thing, the supinated over to the handstand, nice and controlled negative. And I was pleased with, it, pleased with this hold because I usually just come straight out of the negative. So now we're moving on to the next part of the workout. I just do some tuck planche holds. I'm trying to get between eight and 10 seconds. Um, then I'm doing these partial handstand push-ups. So these are very <laughs> mini, mini reps, but this is all I can manage at the moment. So I'm trying to get mini reps with good form. This is me just showing my arms like, girl, you can bend, you can do it. Because my arms just hate bending. I think it's from years of gymnastics and being traumatized by being told off for having bent arms. 
I think this set was pretty good. I did two partials and then the third one, I just did like a slow negative so that I could try and get a little bit more depth but try and keep it under control. So negatives are so good for learning anything. Okay, moving on now. This is where I was going into more combinations. So did straddle press, negative into tuck planche, came through into an L sit and then I start working on my planche push-ups but because I can't push myself back up what I do is I go down and then push up and come through into the L sit and then reset up into that planche position these are really really hard um, I then started looking at just some bent arm stuff so here I was trying to just do a negative to an L sit but with bent arms now I can do a handstand and lower down into an L sit with straight arms really nice and controlled but for some reason, I just, <laughs> like my bent arms, they're just not strong at all. So I'm trying to figure out that bent arm position where I can block and hold myself forward. So I was trying all sorts of things here. <laughs> so this frog then trying to stay in that bent arm position and come through. I started doing these hip pumps again, trying to like use that block and trying to build that strength with that forward lean, but with a bent arm. This was super, super hard and then I think I managed to catch one of these. I think it's this next one now. So I started to bend down and then come through and just about caught that, but it was very out of control, so not very good. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my biggest weakness and it's something that I really try and work on all the time. I'm hoping in a few months time to see some big improvements here. This was my last rep and I think I just gave up in the end because I was just getting really, really tired and nothing was improving. So then just to finish the workout, I moved on to some conditioning. So now that I've really perfected my pipe push-ups on the floor, I've started with elevated. So just putting my feet up on the box here, you can see I'm really struggling, but that's what it's all about. You've got to be bad at something if you want to be good at it. So that's my motto. That's my excuse for what this looks like. I just literally fell on my face almost by the end of it. And then some planche leans. These are not the best for my toes should be turned under, but I was really concentrating on leaning forward as far as I could while staying up nice and high in the planche position. So that's it. I then do a quick stretch at the end, nothing too fancy, but overall I was pleased with that session. That was a good session. Oh, like that was the first time I felt strong in a long time, which was good. Doesn't mean everything was perfect because it by no means was. Um, did a lot of like bent arm work, as you would have seen in the clips, and my bent arm strength is definitely my weakness. So I'm exhausted now, but I feel really good. This is TMI, but I've had the weirdest like cycle for the last few weeks. Like basically almost two weeks late for my period and like for no reason like you know nothing like that um i think it was due to like stress and not sleeping even though i don't even feel like i've been that stressed but there we go usually i'm really like on it with knowing what day will be a good day what day will be a bad day but like the last couple of weeks i think yeah my hormones are just all over the place for some reason or i don't know my cortisol levels are up i don't really know but it's meant that trainings felt really heavy and really hard for a long time. So I'm really glad that was a good session. I guess I don't want to keep chatting. I will take this one opportunity to plug myself if I can. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen, but I have created a calisthenics membership, which is called the Cali Club. And it's aimed for beginners and people who are just slightly above beginner so there's two levels to it and it's basically a monthly program that you follow we work on different skills every month it's a great way if you're looking to get into calisthenics training it's just like an introduction way in um so we've just relaunched in january now so this is round two it's a six month program like i said we focus on something different every month so month one is always covering the basics so we've been doing that um, and then February we are going to be focusing on handstands which I know everybody loves so if you want some more information I will link it down in the bio below so as I said it's a membership it's a monthly program if you join the VIP you get to be part of a community as well where we're all in a group together you can send me your videos I can tell you what you're doing well what you need to improve on um, so yeah it's really 
it's really fun. I've got like over 70 people now, which is really cool. I'd love to get to 100. So yeah, check out my website. Like I said, there's more information on there. Or if you go to my um, Instagram highlights, there's a highlight reel that you can see all the info. Yeah, I guess this is where we end off my first official vlog. If you liked this, please let me know. Please comment, please like, um, subscribe if you haven't. Let's hope I come back for another one. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.